So I found this adorable sewing machine on Amazon. Only $65.99 with prime shipping and a coupon currently as I'm filming this. And of course I had to order it. Just watch me break it. And of course my box just And here it is. All right, so let's go ahead and open this and see what we've got. I can say, based off of what I've been seeing, is that they package it well, so it should arrive in perfect condition since the box I showed you was actually what was inside the shipping box. So a box inside of a box, inside of a box with some styrofoam. So let's take everything out. Um, let's see, we have some pins, a pin cushion, some other miscellaneous sewing equipment. A piece for our sewing machine along with some instructions. Let's see. Some more sewing gadgets. And of course, our machine. So let's get this thing out carefully. Hopefully I don't make a mess of it. And so, really I am not a sewer. I wish I had learned how to sew. I got this from my daughter who's actually starting to sew, has some strong interests, and we've been looking into some. So I wanted something simple and inexpensive. So I'm hoping this one actually works out for our, our needs. And maybe I'll actually learn how to use it as well, which would be pretty awesome. Especially since I keep buying stuff on Etsy that I could probably sew myself if I learn. Although I love supporting other small businesses and Etsy owners. So It'd be good for that as well. It just gets expensive because I could spend my whole paycheck on Etsy. But here it is right out the box. So just to show, this is the instruction book, which will explain how to use the machine, um, as well as putting it together, things of that nature. Just kind of give you a brief showing. So very short, and it is in English, so if you're ordering this no problem reading it at least if you're ordering it from the american amazon so according to the instruction book so we have the pedal that's what makes your sewing machine go surprising that's the only thing i really know about a sewing machine and the power cord which according to this in the back it's small lightweight you can see right here it it clearly tells you what's what so that's actually awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and get this plugged in, which it goes in easily, no issues. And this is the little table kebab, which, sorry, I don't know its proper name, like I said, kind of new, not really, into, really never sewn before, which I'm looking forward to trying it. Just goes right here, so it has a little stand, little leg. That way it supports itself. I'm going to adjust the camera so y'all can, can see. So. so just to kind of show you, here it is all together. Try to fix this angle a little bit better for you, but there it is. All right, just briefly while I took the camera off the tripod so I could show you a better actual angle because I just can't quite get that set going like I wanted. But this is a better view of how it looks like all together this is not stable it just sits right here so if you pick this up this is going to fall off just to uh, point that out if you look you can see the inches and centimeters on the board uh, again very simple just only up to four inches so 
not fancy, but it's actually pretty nifty. And that's just to help you when you're working your stuff. You can guide it through, have a little extra room to work with. And then just a close-up of the buttons of the sewing machine while I have you at this angle. So you have the different items. I guess that's a different sewing pattern. Your other, the on and off and all that good stuff. Like I said, I am not familiar with the sewing machine and hopefully I will get there. Your other adjustments. I know you people that know how to sew are probably laughing at my lack of knowledge. But hopefully this is enough detail to show y'all or anybody that's interested what they would need to know about this particular machine and one cool feature I want to point out is they do have this little drawer to store your little accessories that come with it so all these things that I had shown you can go in a drawer your pens can go in the drawer it, you know etc just that's a nice little function that might be overlooked if you were just looking at this without reading the instructions or seeing this video all right, so because I don't really have a proper setup for this where I could get a good camera angle or anything like that while actually having this set up properly for you to see, I'm going to try and do a demonstration from right here. Um, I have the pedal, see, kind of back here. I didn't undo this thread. Then I'm going to push down. But based on the instructions, I should be able to push this, which turns it on. Ooh, yep, that, that turns it on all right. Um, I have it plugged in and go ahead and get push this pedal to demonstrate how it works there we go unraveled the pedal just so that way I, you can actually see so i'm gonna push it down it has just the little sample material that it came with i'm gonna go ahead and push it and you can see it's moving so it's obviously working so i'm trying to get close up just so y'all can see it in action a lot better all right so now i have it focused right here where it's going just so you can see when i push down on the pedal as if I was sewing and I'm not sure if you can see there's the new stitching from me pushing on the pedal right here and apparently you could switch the stitching style um, as I had shown oh, I gotta adjust this angle again for um for the pattern you want right here on the knob like I'd shown you and it's on that basic one so if I go up right here let's just try that out and I'm gonna go ahead and push the pedal I adjusted it so you can see when I push it Ooh, oh no I must have done something or I ran out of room huh yikes all right I kind of ran out of room to try the stitch at the moment so I'm going to see what I can figure this out. Let's see. I can turn this knob right here, which raises and lowers your needle, which is necessary when you're changing thread. Um, you're done with this and you need a new piece of fabric, whatever the case is. So just so you know, that's all this is. You turn it. You can raise it or lower it and you can see it in action. All right. First things first, before I mess anything up further, because I started sewing it again, because I did figured out what I was doing and I'm sewing off the material so um like I said newbie y'all are seeing my total mess right now so with that being said to fix this error first things first make sure it's powered which I had powered it on so off it goes then I want to make the wheel go to its highest the stop sew button go to highest position so that should be this all right so there's a switch back here flipped and that raised right here up. Yeah, so while trying to figure out exactly what they were talking about, about releasing the thread to remove this, I was going to record it and do it on camera for you. I pulled just a little bit and apparently I pulled it from the needle. I still have some from the thread in the bottom. So from seeing it right up here on the side, I can bring that excess thread in. I'm supposed to be able to cut it just like that so it's separate. So um, this is going to be a huge learning curve for somebody like me who has never sewn before. So you'll have to kind of forgive my ignorance in it. I was trying to do it first time or let you know how it goes. So uh, as you can see, it started off good while it was already the material was attached. This is going to take some time for me to learn. So as, as a newbie, that comes kind of gives me some suggestion for the company. Because someone who knows how to sew, this is simple and I, I look completely 
you know, lost and unable to help you. Uh, so the book of instructions is actually pretty good. Um, I do like that they have pictures. I do wish that as far as the sewing goes, it did have a little bit more details as like a step-by-step -step with the picture and the words. Um, as far as at least setting it up with uh, threading and everything. And I know there's YouTube videos on this, which I definitely intend to utilize and figure out. So um, I know that, but just as a, for a company suggestion, that would definitely be handy. Uh, you don't have to make anything fancy, just basically the same concept, except with your particular machine. So that's some commentary on that as someone who is not familiar with sewing. So with all that being said, um, this was just a basic unboxing video to show you. The machine, I'm excited to learn how to use. It's compact and small, so it's perfect for storing, especially when you have limited space like I do. It's lightweight, so it's easy to pick up, move as necessary, like, I mean, it's super lightweight. It comes with a ton of accessories. I mean, I've shown you I unboxed it, but I mean, you have your thread, scissors, needles, extra needles, measuring, a thimble. I mean, so I love that. It's basically a great sewing starter pack. And so as a beginner, I, I am very intimidated on how to use it. But at the same time, um, I'm really excited because there's lots of features about this sewing machine. It was inexpensive, um, especially compared to others on the market. So it's kind of like a... Uh, great starter place um how well is it going to do and hold up as far as that goes hopefully it does really great i really want to be able to utilize this um a lot i've been wanting to learn how to sew and i'm going to take this opportunity to if anything learn the basics how to thread the needles through these things because that is like the most confusing and complicated thing to me and i'm sure it's super simple when i see it i'm gonna laugh at myself and um i really can't wait to see the things that I can create with it. So that's going to definitely take me some time. Is it worth the money? Absolutely. Um, you know, like I said, you get, this is what you get. You didn't pay for a lesson. That's on me to learn. Uh, but the machine itself so far, it seems to work well. I mean, I know I just kind of did a basic gist and don't really know too much, but for a beginner, it seems like it'll do the job, at least from the little test material. I mean, you can see, the various patterns so i'm excited to give that a, give that a go and my daughter is going to be totally excited when she gets a chance to try it out for all her creations because she can sew better by hand than i can so maybe i can finally do a little something better than her if i can learn this before she does so that's my goal is to learn how to use this properly um definitely go on amazon i will have a link in the description for you to check out so you can go ahead and get one for yourself totally worth it like i said um i'm really excited i was not expecting to be as excited as i am and especially since this has been something i wanted to do for a long time so you'll have to forgive my ignorance when it comes to sewing and using a sewing machine but i hope this kind of helped give you a rundown of what to expect with the machine and i think it's a great start for beginners and the, um, the instruction manual that i was showing you is definitely a good basic little guide but definitely will need some more in-depth details especially if you're like me and you're not as familiar with sewing so youtube videos are going to be a godsend so that's where i'm at and if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment if you have any suggestions on sewing for newbies like me definitely leave me a comment so you can help me out because i would greatly appreciate it so thanks for watching and i hope this helped is it worth the money absolutely um you know, like I said, you get this is what you get. You didn't pay for a lesson. That's on me to learn. Uh, but the machine itself, so far, it seems to work well. I mean, I know I just kind of did a basic gist and don't really know too much. But for a beginner, it seems like it'll do the job, at least from the little test material. I mean, you can see the various patterns. So I'm excited to give that a, give that a go. And my daughter is going to be totally excited when she gets a chance to try it out for all her creations because she can sew better by hand than I can. So maybe I can finally do a little something better than her if I can learn this before she does. So that's my goal is to learn how to use this properly. Um, definitely go on Amazon. I will have a link in the description for you to check out so you can go ahead and get one for yourself. Totally worth it. Like I said, um, I'm really excited. I was not expecting to be as excited as I am. And especially since this has been something I wanted to do for a long time. So 
you'll have to forgive my ignorance when it comes to sewing and using a sewing machine but i hope this kind of helped give you a rundown of what to expect with the machine and i think it's a great start for beginners and the um the instruction manual that i was showing you is definitely a good basic little guide but definitely will need some more in-depth details especially if you're like me and you're not as familiar with sewing so youtube videos are going to be a godsend so that's where i'm at and if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment if you have any suggestions on sewing for newbies like me definitely leave me a comment so you can help me out because i would greatly appreciate it so thanks for watching and I hope this helped.